I just got done watching Live Life's most recent video in regards to a BuzzFeed video and another video talking about Black Lives Matter and how BuzzFeed is trying to push forth that those that say all lives matter are being quite silly. And, you know, he makes some good points. But again, the way he talks about stuff doesn't really help anything. It doesn't give any answers. It doesn't give any conclusions that are usable to, to improve anything. Um, that's my main problem with both him and AIU. Um, it's pointing out statistics and making declarative statements that don't do any good. All it serves is to make people hateful towards demographics. It's essentially doing the same thing, but on the opposite side as those like uh, Milo Stewart. And even Milo Stewart brought up some things that were valid. For instance, how our culture is still perpetuating some of the mindsets that were responsible for colonialism and imperialism. And I'll get to that in just a moment. In the second video that Live Life was critiquing, there was a, a black lady who was talking to some media outlet trying to, to go on and on and on about how, you know, the media needs to cover, uh, you know, these deaths of black people more and they need to cover Black Lives Matter more. And the media guy is going, um, we're covering this every day. We're always covering this. Why did you say this horrible, nasty thing about killing white people in a tweet? And she just ignores it and just keeps going on and on and on and on. There's one person, what was it, Jean-Pierre Pony or something like that, that she, when are you going to mention this person's death? And you know, I decided to look up uh, Jean-Pierre Pony's death, and it was related to a drug bust for marijuana, a marijuana drug bust. Every culture has a drug that is associated with it that helps perpetuate the mindset of that culture. With our culture, when I say our, I'm just saying, you know, collectively uh, the United States, the culture of the United States, collectively the majority culture. Our drug of choice is alcohol. It makes certain things important. Oh, that was weird. It makes certain things important and certain other things not important. That's what any of the drugs really do. They put some things on the back burner and other things in the foreground. That's what can make some of this enjoyable. That's what makes different drugs enjoyable. And the way that our culture is and the way that we the way that we live the way that we look at things alcohol ends up being a pleasant drug for most of the people within this culture well when we make all drugs all recreational drugs except alcohol illegal we are essentially shunning other cultures we are turning them into criminals. And this has a domino effect all the way down the line. There are some drugs that I do not agree with. The drugs that I think don't really have any positive effects. Like, you know, crack and heroin and meth 
But there are still people with mindsets in which those drugs give them enjoyment. If we were to look at these things as medical issues instead of criminal ones, well, we would definitely be demonizing fewer mindsets, fewer types of cultures, fewer types of worldviews, fewer types of thinking patterns. And if we were to legalize drugs, we could really start to focus on mindsets that are a problem. Are there problems within black culture? Absolutely. Absolutely. There are problems within white culture, there are problems within any culture, but I would say that some of the problems that are within black culture are pretty heavy duty. When, uh, when groups like Black Lives Matter focus less on, I mean, barely focus, they focus on it a little bit, but barely focus on black on black crime, I think there's a problem. If black lives matter, then it should, they should matter no matter who's doing the killing. No matter who's treating black people poorly, whether it's white people or other black people or any demographic at all. So there are problems. These things need to be addressed. But we're not going to address them, address them by doing what AIU and Live Life do. They didn't comply. She didn't comply. He didn't comply. Well, you're right. They didn't comply and they, they should have complied. You're right. If you're <laughs> held up by the police, you, you don't run away. That's a stupid move. You don't start coming towards a police officer with something that could be interpreted as a gun. No, you don't do that. That's a stupid thing to do. It doesn't have to do with, with any sort of race. It just It's a stupid thing for anyone to do. Okay? This is true. But when people are being singled out for happening to fit a demographic, there's a problem. I think police need to be a little more neutral about this. But I think, in general, if we were to legalize drugs and look at them as medical issues and not criminal ones, a lot of this pro these problems would, would indeed go away. They would disappear. Crime in general would go down significantly. Violent crime would go down significantly. Because as much as we don't like some of the mindsets of some of these people who become violent, um, if they were able to live their lives how they want, as long as they're not hurting anyone else, then they're less likely to become criminals. That's just how that works. Now, maybe you disagree with me on this, and that's okay. Um, maybe you can come up with some, some better solutions, some better answers. But if you're just going to say, well, they didn't comply, she didn't comply, he didn't comply, you're not doing any good. If you're just going to say, well, black culture sucks, well, what good does that do? This country does have a dominant culture, and those that don't fit this dominant culture are looked down upon in contrast. This is true. But what's to be done about that? We can't go around making ourselves feel guilty for every little thing. We also can't do what's been going on where we're, police will target 
black people uh, and um, what is that word? Uh, profile people based on their race and expect to have good outcomes from it. And, you know, when people grow up with this assumption that, well, I, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be looked at as a criminal anyway, so what difference does it make? I've talked about that before. When someone puts forth the mindset, well, what difference does it make? That's when problems occur. That's the last thing we want anyone to be thinking is, what difference does anything make? That's the kind of thoughts that go through someone's head before they do something awful. Before they go on a shooting spree. Before they go in try to be some badass to a police officer because what difference does it make their life is over anyway their life doesn't matter anyway all lives indeed do matter black lives matter white lives matter life matters <laughs> 